villains. What do you want? Information. Whose side are you on? That would be telling. We want information. 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 You won't get it. By hook or by crook, we will. Who are you? The new number two. Who is number one? You are number six. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> Now. A circle. Right. Now. A star. Right. Thank you, number six. What for? For letting me practice my mind reading act on you. Now. A square. No cross. No, a square. Definitely. Are you sure it's a square? Yes. I don't know what I'd have done without your help. Nobody else believed in me. They have no imagination. You should concentrate, otherwise you won't be ready for the village festival. There's still a month. Now! A cross. Right. Now? Three wavy lines. It's a lot. Can I take another picture now? You've taken five already. Yes, but I need lots of practice if I understand a chance in the photographic section. Is there any event you haven't entered? Only the pole vault, but I might. The event you haven't entered. <gasps> oh, I'm terribly sorry. Did it hurt? It's mortal injury, wounded for life. Look. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was clumsy of me. But... Don't worry. It'll mend itself. Can I still take the picture? You have to hurry up. 17 out of 25 is quite remarkable. Couldn't it just mean that we're simpatico? It might, but there's more to it than that. Out of the last four runs, you've got 73 out of 100. You're gifted. Thank you. Well, as you say, you uh, need a little more practice. Yes, I see what you mean. <laughs> Could we try another? Huh? That's all right. What do you want me to do? Well, uh, uh, look this way. Yeah. Uh, put your hand to your face. Mm. Yes, but not over your face, yeah. just to your... Yes, yes, that, that's marvellous. Uh, yes, I'll keep this one for myself. Okay. Uh, can I try another run with the cards? No, oh, no, no, it's getting a bit late. You might reduce your average and get discarded. You care? Don't forget the cards. Uh, tomorrow? We'll see. Tomorrow. See you. Switch me into number six. Closer and infrared. Breathing is shallow, sleep is light. Let's deepen it for him, shall we? Pulsator, visual. <laughs>
candid number 12. Morning, number 12. Nice to see you again. Chris, why do you call me number 12? Well, that's what you were called when I last saw you. My dear chap, delighted to see you. <laughs> You're looking fine, you really are. I don't mind telling you we had to pull every string we could in order to get you seconded back yeah. to us. Now, breakfast. A la carte, table d'hôte. Oh. <laughs> yes, they screamed as if I were taking their pensions away. Did they? Do you think I'd forgotten we used to call you Flapjack Charlie? Huh. Even in those days, it was obvious you were going to make a top field man. Here am I, stuck in admin. You always did enjoy your food, even before a job from the Black File. Sorry I didn't shave. Couldn't find a razor. Oh, my dear chap, I'm so sorry. Must have been mislaid. Strange apartment. And after all that fly, yes. you must feel a bit disorientated. What's it all about? Our prize prisoner, the one we call number six. Toughest case I've ever handled. I could crack him, of course, but I can't use the normal techniques. It's too valuable. Mustn't damage him permanently, Sir Masters. That's why I need you. Why do you need me? You bring two great gifts to bear. Firstly, your ability as an agent. Oh, yes. Secondly? You have a unique physical advantage. Physical advantage of growing a moustache overnight? <laughs> no, not quite. You took longer that time in Bucharest. Bucharest? You remember how Susan hated you without it? She told me she wouldn't kiss you until you grew it again. That's good for Susan. <laughs> you know, you, you really do bear a remarkable resemblance. Remarkable. Your job, number 12, will be to impersonate him. Take his sense of reality away. Once he begins to doubt his own identity, he'll crack. What do you think of the idea? I think it has fascinating possibilities, but you'll have an awful job convincing me that I am not your number six. Ah, excellent number 12, of course. 
Always the professional. Hm. Started living the part already, eh? Oh, that reminds me. Allow me. You're now officially number six. I shan't need this to remind me that I am your number six. You'll find all his background details in here. Study them. Uh, you want to watch that number 12? Number six is right-handed. Yes, we'll just have to make a very few changes. Oh, don't worry. I'll get a couple of my girls to work you over a little. But they're very pretty. You know yourself, would you, number 12? This is number sixes. Familiarize yourself with it. I want you to look as much at home here as he does. That shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> the idea is that when he comes back, in a few minutes, as a matter of fact, you will be in possession. It's not the same. The same. You change things. Little things. It's rubbish. It's not mine. This should be guilt, not silver. <laughs> I shouldn't try that line with him if I were you. And number six has got a very strong sense of territory. You won't shake him on his possessions. No, you won't. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, once we get started, even I won't be able to tell you apart. You'll need a password to identify yourself. The password is Gemini. Well, yes, he should be here in a minute. I think it's more effective if you meet him alone. Oh, uh, good luck. What the devil? Oh, very good. <laughs> Very, very good indeed. One of number two's little ideas, I suppose. Where'd they get you? A people's copying service or one of those double agents we hear so much about these days? Seeing that you've gone to so much trouble, the least I can do is offer you a drink. Scotch. I take it I'm supposed to go all fuzzy around the edges and run off into the distance screaming, Who am I? Probably have no idea. Would you like some ice? Thank you. I think it spoils it myself. Yes. Uh, I always keep it in that thermos bucket over there. You know, I never realized I had a freckle on the right-hand side of my nose. When they come to film my life story, you've got the part. Cigar? Uh, you'll um, have to learn to smoke it right-handed first. And you, how to light a cigar. And you, how to smoke my brand without having a heart attack. There's some black Russian cigarettes in the box there on the table. I never touch them myself. It's not going to work, you know. It certainly isn't. Why don't you run away and play somewhere else? I have a very strong sense of identity. You have... Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, I was forgetting. You're supposed to be me. You are the goody number six, and I am the baddie who is supposed to be proving you wrong. Is that it? That's right, except there's no supposed about it. I'll tell you what. Um... Why don't we settle this like gentlemen? You're claiming to be a gentleman, too. Oh, very good, very good indeed. That line is worthy of me. We're both claiming to be number six, are we not? I am number six. You are doing the claiming. Well, let's prove which one is correct. How? Oh, in many ways, a pistol shooting, for instance. Um, what was number six's average? Ninety percent. Correct. Shall we go? Where? The recreation room. Don't wish to take unfair... Advantage. Check synchronization. One, two, three. Good. Electronic, you see. No bullets. Can't kill anyone with them. Number two takes no chances. Three second intervals, right? Whatever you say. I'm uh, sorry, old boy. Um, number six is a right-handed shot. Good. Ready to go now. Three second intervals. Now, one. Two, three. It's 
it's uncanny. Number 12 has caught the man's whole style. In Haiti, we'd say he's stolen his soul. Well, I certainly shoot more like me than you do. What does all that prove? That you should have put in more shooting practice before you took on this job. How's your fencing? You should know, you've studied my file. Turning the tables, very neat. These foils have all a length. I'm a good lord. I'm not. Act five. Scene two. You have done your homework. I'm sure. No, you've done yours. Even the Shakespeare bit. <laughs> to my place on the Olympic No swordsman, no shot either. It's bad. If ever you do challenge me to a duel, your safest bet will be battle axes in a very dark cellar. Are you, uh, you still claim to be number six? So beginning to get on my nerves a little bit. I suppose you're an Olympic boxer as well, are you? Oh, you should know. It's in my record. Perhaps you'd like to find out. Oh, now, now, come on, make up your mind. Are you uh, orthodox or, or south? <laughs> Surprise at number two. His agents just aren't what they were. Oh dear. Looks as though we're in trouble with the headmaster. Must be confusing for it, not knowing which one of us to bite. This way. Come along in. Heard you were having a spot of bother. Who are you? Switch that idiot thing off. I'm getting cramp. Who are you? You know who I am. I am number six. Where did you come from? You know that too. How did you get here? You know that better than I do. I was unconscious at the time, if you remember. What was your purpose in coming here? I had not. I'll go away again if you like. How did your people know that number six was here? What people? How did they know enough about him to produce you? I do not understand. What were you doing in the recreation room? Teaching that synthetic twin of mine how to shoot and fence. For the last time, what do your people want with number six? I am number six. I am number six. Number six! 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 Hmm. Your boy is dedicated to his work. I told you he was a tough nut, number 12. Number six. Number six. Uh, you're quite right, of course. It was careless of me. <laughs> he might have heard. Do you still insist you're number six? Yes. Your mind can lie, but your body can't. You'll see. By the time we finish with him, he wonder whether he's number six or the cube root of infinity. No, this should be rather interesting. We have a complete set of number six's fingerprints. Yes, I know my own fingerprints. Let's start with the fun, shall we? 
That's mine. Never off duty, are you? And I suppose you know your fingerprints too? Yes. That's mine. So that if I say that on the contrary it belongs to number six, one of us is lying? Not at all. As I am number six, we'd both be telling the truth. Let's find out, shall we? Yeah, that's my turn. Now, it's your turn. Right thumb over, I think. Simple. Foolproof. Too simple. And foolproof. Oh? Very ingenious and scientific. The trouble with science is that it can be perverted. I'm inclined to agree, number two. You agree? I'm inclined to believe in human instinct. How do you mean? Well, I mean that if I were in his shoes, I'd rather be convinced by a human being than by a piece of machinery. You have something in mind? Certainly. May I? Number 24. Alison? Yes? I I'm at uh, number two's residence. Could you come over right away? I was just going to wash my hair. I, I, don't worry about that. It won't take a minute. Uh, uh, Alison, bring the cards with you. What do you hope to achieve? prove that I am number six and he is a fake. That's what you wanted, isn't it? That's what it's all about. Yes. has been up to her tricks again. But it's weird. I mean, which one of you? I am the original. He is the economy pack. But it's impossible. On the contrary. But I, I still don't understand which of you is... That is what you are here to settle. Number two says it's not possible. Well, I see. That's why you wanted me to bring the car. That's right. I don't follow. Number six and I have a mental link. Yes, now let's see which one of us you have a mental link with. I think a run of five should be sufficient. Right. Now. Square. Now. Sir. the same as it was in my cottage. I'm looking at the next card now. You ready? Cross. Now? Three wavy lines. Now. Square. A run of five, you said. Good. Now. Three wavy lines. Now. Across. I just know that was five out of five. 
He's the one. He's number six. I could have identified myself much earlier, but it would hardly have been fair. This isn't it awful? I took it last night. He's all arms and legs. Actually, there was a much simpler way to identify number six. He has a mole on his left wrist. Oh, yes, of course. So is this one, my dear. Who is he? I have gentlemen to finish for today. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll see the young lady home. See. What in heaven's name made you do a stupid thing like that? Surely you must realize that number six and that girl have got a genuine rapport. Someone's going to have to pay dearly for this. Number 180. Why was there no mole on number 12's left wrist? I said, why was there no mole? Don't you realize you've jeopardized the whole operation? Report to me first thing in the morning. First thing! Cracking number 12. What belong now? Thank you. 
forget number 12. You're now left-handed. You're now left-handed. Let's see how number six is getting on, shall we? Number six? Control room. Number six is gone. Find him. is very different here from what it was elsewhere. What the password? Gemini. What the password? Control room here. Negative search results so far. No trace of him yet, sir. Send out a general alarm. Orange alert. I'm a very light sleeper. It's in my file. Five yard range. Nerve gas. One squirt, you're paralyzed. Two squirts, you're dead. Couldn't sleep. Came here because... Who am I? We don't know who you are. You're number 12. Yeah, yeah. You're number 12. Sometimes, in my dreams, I'm, I'm somebody else. Who? I don't know. Sometimes in my dreams, I resign my job. Why did you resign your job? In your dream. Sometimes I'm here in my dreams, and I come back. I wonder now, who am I? Why am I here? I think we'll call number two. You might be able to help. <laughs> I don't know what to do. 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 I don't know
talking about? What is it? What password? What is it? A oh, schizoid. Schizoid man. Schizoid man. What's your name? Curtis, give me a left wrist. Don't get far. Aunt I will see about that. <laughs> Password? The schizoid man. Number six is dead. What? He's dead. Rover got him. Control room. Deactivate Rover immediately. Pending further instruction. Still trying to discover why Rover killed number six. We've had a bit of help, Page. Mm. You ought to return immediately to report your failure. My failure? You wanted him broken. I've broken him. I wasn't an ego berserk. Nor was I. You studied him. Should have known. It was your idea. That's a strange thing to say. You know it wasn't. No, you certainly didn't resist. Bearing in mind its origin, no, I didn't. Nor did you. Recriminations aren't going to help. It's a disgrace for us both. When do I leave? Half an hour. Mm. Oh, they, uh, they want you to talk to the girl, Alison, before you go. That's what for? They think she may have some insight into number six's motivations. Oh. a certain rapport with number six. My masters will want to know if you had any insight into his mind. Insight? Yes, I, I don't believe in such things myself, but um, you were supposed to be able to read each other's minds. It doesn't work like that. Oh. How does it work? In uh, spasms, little things, sudden coincidences which aren't really coincidences. Uh -huh. Bad habit of mine, playing with lighters. <laughs> I'll probably start a fire one day. Well, you've nothing to tell me. I'll be on my way. Be seeing you. By the way, have you thought any more about that proposition I put to you when you arrived? Sorry, I've had no time. But you must have some views. I'm afraid not. Look, old chap, we've been through many scrapes before, but we've never fallen out over them. The General's not going to behead you. <laughs> we won't know until I've reported to the General, will we? 
report to the general. That's a new one. Well, I don't mean report to him personally. For Pete's sake, you know what I mean. You are edgy. Never known you quite so strung up. You mean I'm not as I was? Yeah. I remember Susan saying only a month ago that you're generally quite unflappable. Yeah. You have changed. We all change. The job changes us. Yeah. Quick flip in the helicopter to the landing space. You pick up the jet from there. Oh, excuse me. I'm ashamed of what I did to number six yesterday. Why are you telling me? Everyone has to tell someone. It was your job. It was a betrayal. Isn't everything we do here a betrayal? It's not often one gets a second chance. There are no second chances. There are sometimes for the lucky ones. If I had a second chance, I want you to know that I wouldn't do it again. Well, bon voyage. Thank you. Oh, one last thing. Yes. You forgot security regulations. Must be obeyed. The blindfold will check. Oh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> you, uh, you won't forget to give Susan my regards, will you? I don't. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you. 